Recently, from November 17 to 19, 2016, the SMA Generalate hosted an international symposium that brought together some 30 young SMA and OLA missionaries, mainly from Europe and Africa. The purpose of the symposium was to examine and reflect on the past by thinking about today in a context quite different from the last century. At first, it was a question of the clarification of vocabulary between SMA and OLA on the understanding of collaboration and common spiritual patrimony. It is about the sharing of the common heritage between SMA fathers and OLA sisters. If, we, if I'm be following since, we are discussing really our common heritage our spiritual patrimony more, a whole spirit, that's what we've been talking about really. You know, we identify that we have a common understanding of mission, common origin. We identify that we have common motivation. We identify with Marie Helene and, and the group that discuss that we have common option. And I think we should remain on that. That is more than collaboration really. This spiritual patrimony common to SMA and OLA, was at the center of the debate that was organized around the following five themes of reflection. So we were gathered here for the three days to look at the, our common patrimony in the first years to the year 1920, looking at uh, Mission Ad Extra, what that means for both SMA and India. We looked at our family spirit, we looked at having one mission, particularly in the early days, it was one mission. We looked then at the issue of the church, the promotion of the church. Yeah, yeah they give to oneself for mission, exactly. So uh, I think the many of the themes sort of uh, came into each other. There was no huge differentiation between the themes, like the gift of oneself for mission, the family spirit, the one mission between SME and OLA. You could take them as one in many ways. For both animators and participants, Monsieur Adestra is still relevant in Africa, Europe and elsewhere, as we can see in the life of Bishop Marion de Brésillac in his missionary experience in India and then in Africa. It is rooted in the encounter with the other. From his experience in India, Brezyak emphasized the discovery of the other as another, as he or she is. For him, it is not enough to proclaim that I have become all things to all, but I must accept that the other is different from me in his religion, in his way of speaking, and in everything. However, when he arrived in Sierra Leone, he was destabilized by this experience of the other. For him, the reign of demon is installed because he sees his confreres dying and that the Protestants are well established. And it was a real shock that he had not foreseen. Later, it was Father Planck who continued Brezyak's vision with other SMA fathers and then 20 years later with the OLA sisters. However, it is not done in an idealistic way, but in a meeting of passion and resurrection. Yes, Mission Extra has not changed. Moving from one place to another place, the essential thing is meeting the other person in his own culture and bringing the gospel. And the gospel here today is no longer just the saving of souls, but human development. Seeing the economic situation today, the cultural changes, the identity crisis that people are facing and how the gospel can respond to these needs that we have in the society today. So Mission Ad Extra has not changed. The essential property remains the same and the preparation for it is still the same. In the footsteps of Brisiak and Planck, SMA and OLA missionaries 
dedicated their lives to the proclamation of the gospel in Africa. They have left us a legacy of courage and tenacity that has been going on for over 160 years. Experiences lived in a context different from our own, in a very hostile and unknown environment, with sometimes inadequate means and people having different mentalities than those of today. In my opinion, the aim of looking at the past is not to idealize or condemn history, let alone repent of the faults of our SMA OLA ancestors. The past remains what it has been, with its areas of shadow, with its limits, but also with its wonders and its riches. What I see in them is that conviction and determination. Uh, now, a challenge to me that am I having the same conviction mm -hmm. and determination wherever that I'm posted as, 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 as a missionary? Mm -hmm. Our missionary vocation is rooted in this gift of self, shared in close fraternity. Self-given formation is total, total it's, it's, it's abandoning oneself for mission, trusting in God, believing that that is the will of God for you to be where you are sent, going totally open-minded, depending on God, bringing whatever you have, and then ready to learn from the people you are going to. In Europe, Africa, and elsewhere, SMA and OLA missionaries are invited to collaborate in the common work of mission. The spirit that characterized them has led them to share the same vocation, the same concern, for the work well done and relief of the pain of people. Talking about the two families, we see that the OLA sisters worked alongside the SMA fathers in a complementary way, especially in activities such as caring of children, of women and of elderly. They helped also in education, health care, evangelization, and in the catechesis. Of course, we cannot collaborate on all levels, but where we can work together as two institutes, there, 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 there are areas that we can do that. In Africa too, there are many different areas where we can collaborate together, but we need to concretize those projects. We need to structure them, I believe, and we need to say and to give tasks to each one uh, so that it is followed up in a programmatic kind of a way. Today, Mission Adestra and Mission Agentes are closely associated with those of promoting local churches and training local clergy to meet the challenge of the primary evangelization. We have said that there is still a need for missionaries. We are important because there are places where the local clergy do not go. Our charism also inspires us to help people to open up and become missionaries too. But sometimes we are called to go where actually the others do not want to go and it is also part of our charism.
At the end of these three days of exchange and sharing, animators and participants agreed to continue the missionary adventure in the footsteps of our founders together. Ce colloque s'achève ainsi sur une bonne note. This symposium ends on a good note with a celebration about the reign of Christ. SMA Oile Mission, whose life history we have examined, were precisely men and women with a desire to make known the reign of God. Today, we also serve the same reign of God. Thanks to all of you, this gives us a desire to continue. I see that there is something of God in the journey that we have traveled. We talked about providence, and I think we moved forward with it. This concrete point for me is something that can help us to rethink missiology. We are at a moment of change, and it can remind us of values that if we lose them, we lose our souls. Then our societies no longer have any reason of existing.